Hello world, and we are back. My name's Kyle Fischel. This is going to be episode 132 of my poker vlog. For this one, I have a massive session, one of the biggest wins of the year so far, from Sarasota, the One-Eyed Jacks Poker Club. I have a bunch of hands to go over. Before I get into them, quick announcement, my Club GG is doing the $1,000 free roll tournaments every week, Thursday at 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Absolutely free to join the tournament, $1,000 prize pool. It's a great way to practice some tournament skills without risking literally any amount of money. I got sixth one time, I played every week, winning approximately 45, 50 bucks. So if you're interested in mixing up with me in a tournament style getting some practice, head to the link below, join the club, Thursday, 4 p.m. And now we're gonna roll the tape. We are back to another session at one Eye Jacks in Sarasota, Florida, finding the game for $700 right to the 2-5 table. And on the first hand of note, quite a doozy, under the gun raises to 20, a middle position player raises to 75. I'm on the cutoff with ace king off suit. You probably should four bet this hand, but this is a very early in the session. I don't really expect him to be getting out of line too often, so they probably have a very strong hand at this point. So I think I'm just gonna peel this one and see what develops. Well, what develops is the under the gun player raises to 320, and now the middle position three better decides to fold. Based on the sizing, it really makes me think that this four bet's just like a small pocket pair maybe ace queen ace jack i feel like aces kings and even queens would probably go a little bit smaller maybe 250 275 so i think this guy's going for a little bit of extra fold equity and i just don't think he has a hand at this point so i'm willing to just get it all in have 600 in my stack after losing a few small pots when i go all in my opponent snap calls i offer to run it twice with him he says no one time for him well okay i guess when the flop is ace deuce deuce two spades i just announced that i have an ace i assume that i'm best right now one combination of pocket aces besides that i should have the best hand my opponent does confirm that i am now ahead turn deuce one of the better ones i now have a full house river seven of diamonds deuces full of aces will crack queens and we start out the session up about 500 dollars after this double up we win a few less notable smaller pots which brings our stack up to a nice healthy looking size probably around 1100 at this point before an early position player raises to $30. I'm in middle position with ace, jack off suit, ace of clubs, jack of hearts. I'm going to just call this one. I think a 6x open is pretty big compared to what I'd say is more standard. It's also early position. So if ace, jack was suited, possibly three bet, but this one's going to just be a call. The small blind and the big blind calls. So we are going four ways to a flop of king nine five, all clubs. Having the ace of clubs feels very comfortable in this position. Small blind just leads for $30. Big blind folds, preflop aggressor folds, and now I think this is a good spot to raise. If I'd ever raise with like ace x of clubs specifically having a flush, I do have to have some bluffs in there to balance myself out. So just the ace of clubs without a kicker. Nut blocker plus nut flush draw, I feel is going to be one of the bluff candidates on this specific board. So I raise to $120. My opponent doesn't think too long before letting it go, and this bluff worked out very well in my favor. Following that, with one limp, I raise to $20 with ace king off suit. I get the small blind and the limper to call, so we're going three ways to a flop, which comes ace high and dry, ace eight four rainbow. Very happy with my hand at this point. When it checks to me, I'm a continuation bet for four. Forty dollars, two thirds pot, pretty standard, I'd say. Trying to get value from weaker aces, possibly an eight x, five six, things such as that. Well, I'm kind of surprised to see both opponents call, so gonna navigate with some caution. Hope to see an unconnected turn card. It's not quite what we get with the six of spades. When it checks to me, I guess any of these opponents can have ace eight, ace six any of that really i don't see a weaker hand getting three streets of value from so i'm going to take this as my street of pot control and if there's ever an unconnected river card or a board pair i'd be pretty comfortable with my hand i don't really expect my opponents to have seven five right now so not too worried about being behind yet but when i check it back the river is the three of clubs and on this card the small blind leads for 180 dollars now in a vacuum you check back the turn to be able to call off these river bets pretty clearly that i was pot controlling with a value hand 
Doesn't my opponent know that and betting anyway, knowing that I have to call off with an ace? Kind of feels that way. This particular opponent had done a very similar line where he rivered the nut straight and bet this a very similar sizing and a very similar pot size. That's going through my mind pretty readily. But honestly, based on the flop action, I really feel like it's seven, eight, or four, five. But I don't know, based on my previous days playing at one eye jacks, it seemed that every time someone peeled, they just peeled a two pair or a better hand than me so possibly an overcorrection, but i just kind of decide to let this one go based on the player past history everything kind of nitty but there's plenty of two pair combinations and straights that are possible at this point my opponent owns my soul when he flips over four or five off suit so i was ahead and definitely had the opportunity to win a decent sized pot but was unable to pull the trigger on this one but that's okay when an early position player raised to 40 dollars, i call a middle position with queen jack of hearts everyone else fold so we go heads up to a flop of jack 10 3 rainbow one heart feeling great about top pair decent kicker possible my opponent also feels great because he c bets for 60 bucks 75 percent pot size bet i mean there are some jacks that are beating me even jack 10 unfortunately but i don't think i can fold to one bet when i flop top pair good kicker so i make the call turn is the king of clubs so we turn open-ended but it is an over card to our pair kind of dicey spot but my opponent checks to me on this one i'm thinking this is a great spot to semi bluff if my opponent had a hand like ace jack this king is kind of gross to him if my opponent had any 10 any weaker jacks all those hands are going to feel really bad with this turn card even pocket queens might not feel too comfortable at this point so when my opponent checks me i think about it for a little bit and then bet 135 dollars happily bet big on rivers if i make my straight but it's not going to come to that my opponent eventually folds feel pretty good about how i played this one happy with the result next hand of note and this this one is insane with a button straddle both blinds call i'm under the gun with jack nine of spades i decide that this is good enough to just limp i can call a raise don't really need to raise myself well seven players decide to limp so seven players ten bucks a piece to a flop of ten eight seven two clubs and a spade we flop the absolute joint what a dream six opponents that i can get value from can have pretty much any two cards i start out with a 30 dollar lead feel fine to just lead into the field want to build a pot Hot. player to my direct left calls another player calls then the button raises to 200 at this point i'm thinking about just calling the 200 I, it's pretty clear that he has at least a club draw and i can have one safe turn card and then jam based on that result but that plan goes out the window when the small blind then min clicks it to 400 yes this is a ridiculous hand now i only have one move it's just get it in and hope for the best have about 12 to 1300 dollars in my stack and i announce all of it's going in the middle i have the nuts hope to hold a later position players all in for approximately 350 dollars the button who made it 200 can't believe what's happening he's deep into the tank i really wouldn't mind both these players folding and me just going to just taking down a pretty decent side pot and only having to fade one person in this hand because the more people in the lower my equity is but the button eventually does decide to fold claiming he had king queen of clubs the small blind snap calls we agree to run the side pot twice the short stack player wants the main pot to be a one-time deal i would prefer to run it twice but as that's my standard pick in all scenarios but either way the side pot is massive and on the first turn card we turn dead with the jack of clubs that's disappointing Whew, that one's tough but that's fine there's literally no more clubs into the deck so we should be good second board queen of spades final river deuce of clubs like <laughs> are you fucking kidding me jeez so brutal the shorter stack player had nine six with the six of clubs so somehow the dealer found i don't know the last two clubs in the deck on both boards and i end up getting stacked on this one we have to do a full count because it's very close i had about 1300 in my stack my opponent had like 1400 one of maybe three players at the table that had me covered so very unlucky to get stacked by this person and um i guess we're gonna rebuy now we're into the game for two thousand dollars wish we would have won that one and just had a massive stack but that's not how poker goes all the time please take a moment and subscribe
on the next hand the player who had the ace five against me he opens to 25 dollars i call in middle position with king jack off suit we are heads up to a flop of king six deuce two spades and my opponent seems to like this board because he over bets 75 dollars well um i can't really flop top pair and fold even to an over bet especially against an opponent who will just get it in with flush draws for you know piles so we can just call this one reevaluate turn is the four of clubs this time my opponent checks to me i'm happy to get closer to showdown don't really want to get the money in with this player right now is he's pretty much running pure against me the river is the queen of hearts to this card my opponent assembles a bet and eventually puts in 185 dollars king queen was beating me the whole time so i'm actually pretty happy with this river card i'm really hoping my opponent has like ace queen and it's just value betting a queen at this point but if he has ace king so be it he also could have missed spade draws so this is a pretty standard call i would say so i call the 180 dollars no one's bluffing me a second time like the four five hand and my opponent just says you're good ace high and then eventually shows ace nine off suit so pure air against me he was going for trying to get me to fold but i have some stronger hands in my checking range as well following that with three limps i raised to 35 dollars with ace queen off suit queen of spades ace of hearts definitely worthy of a raise especially on the button well all three of the limpers also we're going four ways to a flop of ace five three all spades well top pair second nut flush draw feels like my luck is turning an early position player just leads for 30 yes in sarasota is like the room with the most just leads that i've ever seen in a room ever thinking there's not a whole lot of hands i'm afraid of and not a whole lot i need to protect against even with a, another player calling i think i can just call this one reevaluate turn hopefully just make my flush and win i feel like this lead can sometimes just be the naked king of spades sometimes a weak ace sometimes two pair so we're just gonna proceed with one street of semi pot control when the turn is the seven of diamonds six four gets there deuce four's already been there not really sure either of those hands are too relevant and my opponent decides to lead again for 35 dollars when the player to my direct right calls now i think it's time to announce my hand no one's really shown too strong of a hand these opponents could literally just have the naked king of spades Spades, maybe the naked jack of spades maybe weak aces and maybe two pairs will even fold to a raise here as there's an obvious flush and straight on the board so i'd bump it up to 150 dollars expecting to take this down a decent portion of the time and the times i don't just realize some equity well the early push player that led both streets calls and then the player to my direct right calls again so definitely gonna need some help on this river card river is the seven of clubs i'm actually pretty happy with this river card i beat all flopped two pairs i I beat 5-3 you know it's my kicker still very much live it's a very good river card for me but it's possibly even better for my opponents as the early position player goes all in and then the player to my direct right calls the all in well this is absolutely not going to be an over call by me and it's a good thing i didn't the early position player had pocket fives and the player to my right had eight four of spades so my hand was in third place all along even from the flop Ugh, not running the greatest in this middle of the session but that's okay ace jack of spades is gonna turn it around for us with one limp i raised to 25 dollars hope to get something going because it's not doing great for me so far small blind raises to 103 dollars very interesting sizing the limper calls 103 and i suppose i can't get back to even by folding so i'm gonna call the 103 as well hopefully get a favorable flop which we do on queen four three two spades flopping a flush draw is as good as i could hope for it's easy to hit a flush these opponents do it to me all the time the small blind continues for 200 dollars the other player gets out of the way and i just don't think i can fold having the nut flush draw having a single over card feels pretty strong don't think i can get away from it and i expect my opponent to check back a lot of dicey turn cards so i'm thinking i can see both cards for free i consider just jamming it right now because thinking i'll be able to, to run it twice and definitely realize my equity on at least one board if i'm called and even when i am called like I should have an overcard, a flush draw. Unless my opponent has exactly ace queen, that'd be pretty devastating. But otherwise, like maybe a hand like king queen would fold. But I take the less variance route. I choose to just call the $200. Turn is the five of clubs. So we pick up a gut shot, even more outs. 
And this doesn't concern my opponent in the slightest as he goes all in. I just decide with so many nut draws, I just can't get away from it. Nut flush, possibly nut straight as my opponent should never really have a six in his range. When he puts me all in and I call, I ask him to run it twice. He reluctantly says yes. I'm very grateful to that player. Shout out because, you know, I'm willing to run it twice every time, even when I have the nuts on a somewhat draw heavy board. So happy I get to run it twice when I'm behind as well. First run out is a brick with the king of diamonds. And the second one is an ace of clubs. And we end up chopping against pocket jacks. I'm kind of shocked to see jacks just bet bet on the queen high board, but I guess he knew what he was doing because he did have the best hand until the river. We still chop some dead money, so we both are profitable on this hand i'm just very thankful we got to run it twice win another small one moving in the right direction before the next hand of nope i have jack nine of clubs jack nine works out so well in this game when an early position player raises to 30 dollars over two limps i decide to make the call no need to three bet small blind calls and the two limpers call so we're going five ways to a flop of seven four deuce two clubs very much a dream board for me flopping a flush draw two overs no one should really connect to this too much the pre-flop aggressor continues for 90 i don't think there's any other option besides calling here hand is too strong to fold and a raise would probably be a punt my opponent could have all the over pairs i mean he's betting into four players so he's repping pretty strong however this specific opponent has shown some bluffs so there is some merit to raising i choose to just call this one one of the early position players calls as well so we're going three ways to a turn card which is the three of hearts one of the obvious draws of 5-6 gets there. Less obvious draw, ace-5. Definitely some possibility of some straights, but it was raised to $30 pre. No one should have cards really this low all too often. So when it checks to me, I think that includes me. I don't think I ever have too many hands this low on the board, so... I think I'm forced to just check and hope to realize some equity. If I was to bet and then get raised by either one of my opponents, kind of a throw up spot. So I think I'm happy to just see a card and hopefully even just hit one of my over cards as top pair should be good some of the time. But we get an even better one. We get the six of clubs on the river. It checks and the pre-flop and flop aggressor bets $120. At this point, it would just be way too tight to simply call. We cannot actually make our hand and then not go for more value. Unfortunately for me, as I have Jack-9 and the highest card on the board is a 7, it's somewhat likely my opponent could just have Ace-King, King-Queen, Queen-10, plenty of two-card club combinations available for flush over flush scenarios, but we will just have to cross that bridge when we get to it. After a bit of thinking, I raised to $325, and it's possible this opponent was just bluffing again because he folds rather quickly, and we get moving in the right direction, taking down a good size pot here. Following that, with a bunch of $10, there's two limps i look down at nine ten of spades think about raising but my raise size would have to be like 70 or 80 dollars to ever get folds so i think i'm more happy to just call and play this hand multi-way plays really good multi-way so this is a fine limping spot i think folds to the button button bets 40 both limpers call i'm happy to get in there with 44 ways flop is ace nine four rainbow with one spade pretty good board for me i think i have to call at least one street flopping middle pair when it checks to me i check and flow to the button who was the pre-flop aggressor he checks it back now this opponent had been very aggressive throughout the day he led a lot of the times into pre-flop aggressors with even third pair so him not betting this board makes me believe he doesn't have much of a hand at all when the turn is the four of spades it's nice to pick up a flush draw but the bottom card pairing kind of takes away some of my hand value as any of these opponents could just have a four as they limp called but when it checks to me i now can pretty safely discount all hands better than me exist I feel like any of these opponents would not check twice with an ace on this board when it's somewhat draw heavy. I assume the button wouldn't play an ace or even a, a nine this way. So I'm pretty happy to bet for value here. Not even a bluff, not even a semi bluff. I think a nine is good and I'm going to bet $85 that it is. Don't need to go too big. Really just trying to get value from like disbelieving king queens and pocket eights and things such as that. So we're going to bet $85. To this bet, only one player decides to call. So we are heads up to a river, which is the five of diamonds pretty safe card only thing that i'm worried about is pocket fives i guess deuce three gets there but that'd be pretty adventurous so when it checks to me i bet 215 dollars can't get back to even by playing safe gotta go for some thinner spots against some weak pocket pairs and weaker nines and this game's crazy maybe this person will call me with king high and just disbelieve me but that will not be the case on this one my opponent thinks for a little bit before folding happy with this one happy to take down a really good pot with just a middle pair before the next hand of note $10 bun straddle 
I got 8-7 of diamonds on the big blind with small blind limps. I limp, other player limps. Later position player raises to 70. Definitely the size you need when this many limpers try to get some folds and to take it down. But this completely backfires as five different players called the 70. So we're going six ways to a flop. Hopefully it's good. Pick me dealer. Flop is jack six deuce all diamonds. I flop a flush. Oh, this is this is what dreams are made of. The pot's massive. We have a flush. Plenty of opponents get value from. But I'm going to check into the preflop aggressor. Not going to just lead. I don't think a lead makes too much sense. And The preflop aggressor bets $45. There's one caller, two callers. Then the small blind raises to 500 I actually expect any of these $45 bet players to have just the ace or king of diamonds. Seems reasonable to do that. But I, I really don't expect the $500 raise to be anything less than a better flush like it's really a, a crazy gross spot but i'm just sitting here thinking am i really gonna fold a flopped flush with such a massive pot when i'm stuck like 800 dollars at this point oh no look away make it no look away oh this seems insane to me. But after a bit of thinking, I just eventually decide that there's absolutely zero chance that this $500 bet is a bluff or even just the single ace, which means I'm literally drawing almost stone dead. And I very sadly relinquish my cards, as do all the other players that had put money into the pot. I asked the player to show for the vlog. He shows just the queen of diamonds. Very much doubt that that's his only card, especially with the raised. You would need at least the the ace if you were going to be bluffing at some frequency so he would later tell me he had queen 10 of diamonds and i suppose i believe him and i guess it was a good fold now we arrive at the hand of the session no the hand of the month really the hand of of the year so far when under the gun raises to 30 dollars, it folds all the way to me on the button i have pocket jacks i three bet to 100 dollars versing one of the most action players i'd like to play a bigger pot against this specific person happy to three bet jacks in position my my opponent does not disappoint he calls and we are heads up to a flop of jack jack seven two clubs it is shocking to flop quads <laughs> But it's also very hard to get paid with quads. Like, what could my opponent ever pay me with when I have the entire board and then some locked up? So when he checks to me, I check it back. Somewhat disappointed. This opponent would lead on a lot of boards, whether he had it or didn't. I was hoping I could just call him down Ray's River, but doesn't seem like it's going to go this way this time. Turn is the five of spades. Please lead, sir. Nope, he checks again. Uh, thinking he has nothing and I'm going to get zero dollars for this hand. I throw out a very small bet. Have to put something in in the middle i mean we have quads i bet 75 dollars my opponent doesn't take too long before calling i'm thankful i got at least one street of value rivers the eight of hearts not expecting much to happen until he leads for 225 dollars this is what dreams are made of i really have to hollywood for a little bit now like i have to raise but i can't just snap raise or raise even quickly i have to make it look like i have a decision like maybe i have ace king of clubs maybe i have just a single jack and he has better like a nine ten but regardless of all that i have to raise i have 1300 in my stack i actually consider just jamming and making it look like a pure bluff with you know ace five of clubs or something like that but i don't think i would ever actually do that so i'm gonna go for a more standard size as if i just have like jack nine or ace jack or something like that i raised to 800 dollars not really expecting my opponent to call all too often and he doesn't he re-jams all in like how does this even happen i obviously snap call because I have quads and he had pocket sevens so what a disgusting flop like quads over full house very unfortunate for my opponent he found the one card that makes him lose the maximum but I'm super happy with it wow what a big hand too and at the Sarasota poker room this did qualify for the highest hand in the room so I get a $400 rake back bonus and everyone at the table on this day gets $50 a piece for a table share so everyone was quite happy to see my hand besides maybe be my exact opponent what a massive hand what an incredible feeling and if you listen to the table mates in this little clip i am indeed unstuck with this new stack because it checked through on the flop because we both have the entire board locked up like both of us that's second nuts. here's another time <laughs> unbelievable 
other than wow. that, calling them all in, they're going all in. Well, that, I mean, hundred percent. You're like, there's no way he has a depth seven. Yeah. No. No. I was hit at hundred. <laughs> all right, you've become unstuck today. Now, look at that. You are unstuck. For the we do have one more interesting hand. I'm on the button with pocket jacks again. When under the gun makes it 30, and there's one call. Not going to three bet this one. The under the gun opener was one of the tighter people at the table. And we can't really flop quads every time. So we're going to just call this one plate in position. Flop is 5-3-3 three, three, rainbow. Very safe for me. If my opponent C bets, I can just happily call him down, really. He has all the ace, king, ace, queens that I don't think he'll give up with too often. But it checks to me. I'm going to bet this one. Going to try to protect my jacks against any random over cards i bet 50 dollars pre-flop aggressor calls turn is the seven of diamonds not gonna slow down gonna size up here definitely want to charge any ace x holdings that are disbelieving and want to keep playing so i bet 140 dollars after a decently long tank my opponent eventually calls and then the river is the deuce of hearts doesn't really change anything not really worried about ace four so when my opponent checks to me i don't really see a hand i can get three streets from like i figured like eights nines tens would just bet flop so i kind of discount those over pairs higher the jacks would do the same i mean ace king's probably not calling the river so i just check this one back i'll even show first i i just assume jacks are good i'm not getting paid by anything and my opponent mucks his cards so jacks are doing very good for me today and we are into the game for two thousand dollars out of the game for 36 24 that has a profit of one thousand six hundred twenty four dollars across six hours equates to 270 dollars an hour or 54 big blinds an hour yeah that quad jack Next hand was definitely the hand of the year for me like it's very hard to make quads it's even harder to have your opponent have a hand that could pay you off with it so incredibly happy that that one went my way you know if i had the sevens it goes the other way just as easily so just a bit of card distribution there if you enjoyed my content and my twice weekly upload please consider subscribing join me for the journey and i will see you all on the next one